Hey guys, it's time to do a battery drain test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the S7 Edge. And anyways, let's talk about the phone. So the S7 Edge has a 3600 milliampere battery and the Galaxy S8 Plus has a 3500 milliampere battery. We all know what happened in a battery charge test. The S7 Edge actually slayed the beast in that video. Let's see if the S7 Edge can repeat that in this video battery drain test as well. Both phones are charged up to 100%. Brightness is also set all the way to the max. We got same Wi-Fi network. We also have this service running in the background which keeps the display on all the time. As usual, we're gonna start off with the first stage which is a one hour long 60 minute Instagram madness. Then we're gonna do a full two hour long YouTube playback. Then a 60 minute gameplay of the Asphalt 8 and then move towards the final stage, which is going to be a 4K video test till death. I will be speeding up the process, so sit back, relax, and see you guys after 60 minutes. Okay guys, it's been a little over 60 minutes. You can see one hour and nine minute time. And uh, let's check out the battery percentage on both phones. And look at that. My God, both phones are at the same point, 84%. No difference whatsoever going equal. I have to say S7 Edge is really bringing the fight, competing with all of its power against the beast Galaxy S8 Plus. So really interesting test. Moving on towards uh, the next stage, which is the gaming. So I have launched Asphalt 8 game on both devices and uh, let's go ahead and start up the same race and uh, again we'll be playing this game for a full 60 minutes and uh, normally I don't do that much gaming on phones so 60 minutes is like a sweet spot even if you are a hardcore phone gamer so let's uh, see what will happen after 60 minutes of consistent gaming Okay guys, it's been 60 minute plus time and let's see the battery percentage on both phones. As you can see, the S8 Plus is on 70% while the Galaxy S7 Edge is down to 68%. So the S8 Plus is actually winning the game here by 2%. And the temperature on both phones are feeling very identical. Uh, normal gaming temperature, can't see anything unusual here. Time for a two hour long YouTube playback. So I'm just gonna play it on both phones here. I also just realized that I did the gaming first but uh, it doesn't really matter. We have the YouTube on third stage now and uh, after that if these phones will survive which I think they will we'll be doing a 4k till death. So see you guys after two hours.
right guys, the two hour long YouTube video playback test is now completed. And as you can see, the battery on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge is down to 48% while the Galaxy S8 Plus is down to 52, still winning by 4%. I have to say, despite having a smaller battery, the Galaxy S8 Plus is still uh, beating the Galaxy S7 Edge. Samsung definitely has done a great job with the S8 Plus. Uh, let's get right into the fourth stage, which is the 4K video recording. It's gonna quickly launch cameras on both phones, and we're gonna record 4K video with flash on. Uh, so this is going to be a bit more advanced form of 4K video stage. Just to check the settings, you can see it's set to Ultra HD, going back, and start the recording. So both phones have the flash on, as you can see that. Let me just show you guys again, flash is on. We do have a 10 minute cap on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I think uh, it's the same thing with the Galaxy S7 Edge as well. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys after 60 minutes. Okay guys, after 57 minutes of 4K recording, uh, the Galaxy S7 Edge is down to 14%, so I cannot use flash anymore, while the S8 Plus is on 17%, so a 3% difference there. It is also going uh, pretty close to the danger point, uh, but yeah, I can still record 4K with the flash, uh, but since the S7 Edge cannot record 4K with the flash, I will be recording just normal 4K footage, so, um, Timer is still going on. We're gonna go ahead and record in normal 4K footage and see which one will die first and uh, can the S7 Edge make a comeback in this video or not. It's just three person difference, so uh, yeah. Okay guys, the S7 Edge is dead and the S8 Plus just barely won the test by 1%. Wow. Oh my god, that was a fight to the death. Both devices were amazing. You can see the S8 Plus uh, went down quite hard with the battery, uh, I mean with the 4K video recording. You can see it is running out of space because of all that 4K footage that I recorded. And by 1%, wow. It was the most insane battery drain test that I've ever done so far. But I have to say, the S7 Edge, it, it's, a, it's a great phone. But still, despite having a smaller battery, the S8 Plus managed to defeat the Galaxy S7 Edge by 1%. In my previous drain test, I was just doing a 4K uh, video test, but this time I actually uh, enabled the flash as well. So the battery uh, drain was two times faster than just normal recording. And the S8 Plus is still on, one person win. Damn, it was an awesome test. So I hope this video uh, will help you even further to decide whether you want to upgrade to the S8 family or not. And uh, I think the improvement mainly that helps, that helped the S8 Plus to win this test was inside, you know, under the hood processor wise. New 10 nanometer chip is super efficient. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in my Next video, let me know what more drain tests you want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.